Let's fire it up. Oh. This is nice. So the BMW Z4 is really that generation of car that people either really love or they really hate. There's really no in between with this car. And I'll admit, when I first seen this car, I thought it was the ugliest thing on the planet. Um, but as you spend more time with it and, and start to get to know the car, that's when you really start to appreciate the car. So for me, it's definitely an acquired taste. It's a quirky car with its own personality, has a long nose, wide stance, and it's very low to the ground. It's very quirky. Again, it has its own personality. But once you start closing doors, you start driving the car, you start shutting the trunk, that's when you really get to appreciate how well built and solid the BMW Z4 really is. But again, just like with any other car, each car has their issues and each car has their problems. And in today's video, and in the next few minutes, I'll be covering the top three most common issues with the BMW Z4, what you can do to fix it, and of course, the worst case scenario if you choose not to. Okay, so the very first thing we're gonna talk about is essentially the oil leaks that are very common with this car. And some of the reports that I've seen, this happens to be the most common issue with the BMW Z4. And it's essentially an oil leak that comes from the valve cover gasket. Now, the, the good thing about this issue, if there's any, is the fact that you're able to smell it from driving this car. So from the cockpit, you're able to smell it early on. And especially because the drip is essentially on the heat shield of the header. So it's at a location that's relatively hot. So if there's any time you're gonna smell it, it's gonna be after driving the car for a few minutes. Now the issue is mainly for the 2003 and the 2006 models, but some of the newer generations have also experienced the issue. This issue is reported as early as 34,000 miles for some owners. The second most common issue for the BMW Z4 E85 generation is essentially coolant loss. This is quite common and if not caught soon enough is the reason why most of these engines really overheat. Some reports show signs as early as 58,000 miles with many noticing bubbling, steaming, or just coolant loss when they go to check their coolant. Luckily for BMW owners, the issue is essentially a hairline crack that's shown on the expansion tank. So that surge tank, that coolant overflow tank, there's essentially a hairline crack that develops over time, whether that be heat or you know region, or maybe just damage to that part, maybe with a mechanic checking it out. Um, essentially, most reports show that it's just a hairline crack, again, on the expansion tank. What's up, everyone? I interrupt today's video to show you how immaculate and how perfect this wrap came out. If you guys are interested in a wrap and you guys live in the Los Angeles area, I am offering wraps for the lowest, lowest in the industry. Every client I have is happy. If not, I make it right every single time. There's not a time or a bad client that I have that I could refer to you guys that has anything bad to say about my wraps or my integrity or my quality of work. So if this is something you guys are looking to do, go ahead and follow me at Get Set Go wraps again that's on instagram at get set go wraps so you guys can check out some of the perfection some of the beauty that i put out now the third and the last most common issue i'd like to report here in this video is essentially the front control arm bushing also considered the thrust rod bushing as well so i'm recording this video in 90 degree heat so go ahead and smash that like button now the symptoms for a bad front bushing or a, a thrust rod bushing uh, is essentially a thrust um, in the steering or a jolt or some kind of clunking in the steering feel. However, many have reported this issue and most of the times when they catch it is when they're backing up. Say that's from a driveway like this one, a parking lot, a shopping center, uh, typically where they have to reverse and turn right is essentially when most people have felt the jolt, the clunk, uh, or really the issue with the front bushing, which is actually what this car uh, suffers with. As I was backing up, I did notice that same clunk with this car as well. I did feel a jolt, but only when I was accelerating. So it's not something that's gonna be constant. Um, the owner of this car actually mentioned that he's not able to drive over 60 miles an hour just because of how, I guess, sketchy it feels. Uh, one report even shows 
that the car feels like at certain times the frame is going to break in half. So I'm assuming that's why my client doesn't want to drive over 60 miles an hour. All right, so there you guys have it. These are three most common issues with the BMW Z4 E85 generation that could be fatal if not caught soon enough. For the most part, they're quite minor. There's something you could do at home um, if you have a, you know, pretty much a tool case at home. Um, but again, if you notice some of these signs, it's best to get on it quick and in the moment as well and again try not to drive that car because those little issues could really be a major issue and a major headache um, moving forward so so that's pretty much it with this video if you like comment subscribe and we'll take it from there take thank you guys